Hello YouTube, it's Hannah from Smilegush here and I have a bit of a haul video for you. This is months of hauling so I didn't get this all in one go. Um, and it's just various bits and pieces that I've got that I really like. First thing I'll talk about is some of the makeup that I've got. I went on holiday to Florida um, in the summer and I went to Sephora because you do because we don't have Sephora in the UK and even though we have Kat Von D makeup now uh, over here some of this is from Debenhams that's where you can get Kat Von D in the UK um, but I've got lots more Kat Von D um, this is her Locket Concealer I get the shade L1 Neutral and it is really good it's quite a thick concealer and I mean I have her I have her Locket Foundation as well this is in the shade um, light 42 neutral and so they're not like exactly the same shade and I find with this that they, they, they dry down really quickly I mean they're fantastic full coverage products both of them um, but I find that you know they dry really quickly so you have to work quickly with them so what I generally do is I like, do a bit of my face at a time and um, blend it in with a blending sponge um, so they're the base products that I've got from her I really like them I've also somewhat expanded my Everlasting Liquid Lipstick uh, collection. Right, I've got five more. If you know, before I had two. I had Echo, which is her navy blue shade, and I had Witches, which is her black shade. Um, and I love them. I love the formula. I love the way that they dry down. I love the way that they wear. So I've collected five more. Uh, this is the one that I got in America. This is the shade Dagger. And it's like this sort of like bluey, dovey grey. And it's so nice. Um, and it just makes my little goth heart sing with joy. So there's that one. Um, I also got Vampira, which I'm wearing now. And it's so beautiful. It's just a delicious show. Um, I have Aisha, which is it's one of the pretty wearable ones. It's a less sort of like alternative more day shades. And it's this nice sort of lovely. Uh, Nosferatu, which is, I, it's like Snow White. This is if you want to look like Snow White, get Nosferatu. It's such a nice classic red. It's gorgeous. Um, my most recent acquisition is Bow and Arrow. I decided I wanted to have a nude because sometimes it's nice to experiment. And I really didn't know because nude's kind of not, it's kind of out of my comfort zone. So I talked to the girl and she said, try Bow and Arrow because it's, you know, a fairly neutral shade. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. Um, and I like it, but I really do want more of a cool, cool tone, one of her cool tone greys, I think maybe Ludwig or Lovecraft, you know, I want one of the more ulti, weirdy nudes, so, but I do like it. Another Kat Von D product I got new, um, which I specifically got in the summer to take away from me on holiday, um, and also just to use in the summer, is her Locket uh, Powder Foundation. This is light 42 again, it's the same shade as my um, liquid. As you can see, I've already hit pan um, over the summer when I, you know, didn't want to use liquid because I get, I have, I'm one of these people I just get very oily and very sweaty in the summer, especially around my hairline. Um, and I find that just liquid foundation or cream foundation, it just, it just melts off my face and it makes me feel hotter. And I don't want that in the summer. So I got a powder, a powder foundation, not just a powder powder, it's an actual powder foundation. So it actually gives you coverage. Um, and I just thought, I've heard good things about her um, product. I like the shade range, I know that she has shades that suit me and match me, so I thought I would try it and I really like it. When I when I use this up, I will be repurchasing it. Other makeup purchases I would like to share with you are all American purchases. Um, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, brow definer in dark brown. Now I had the brow wiz, I bought the brow wiz last time I was in America two years ago which is the thin, retractable wax pencil crayon with a uh, screw on the end. Um, I got that in chocolate, and it's just it's too warm, it was too warm. I know I've got red hair, but my, if you have a look, my eyebrows are actually pretty naturally dark. Um, I, if I wanted to match my natural eyebrows, I could probably use like a black. Um, and I actually have a, I think it's graphite, the shade of the Freedom Powder Duo. Um, so just chocolate was just too, warm for my eyebrows 
Um, and I also wanted to try this because I found the brow wiz because it was so thin, it was quite difficult to get the product out. So this one, it's a thicker crayon and it's like a triangular almost, so it's thin on one end and thick on the other. And I really like it, I have to get used to it because it is quite dark and it's got a nice thick spoolie on the other end. Um, so I do like it. Um, the other thing, two things, another brow product. This is just the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow, um, Brow Mascara. I have the shade Nothing But Brunette, and it's just really good. I love doing a brow mascara. If I'm not wearing anything on my brows, I just put a brow mascara in. If I am wearing a powder or a pencil or something like that, I'll do a brow mascara as well, just to keep them in place. Um, and I specifically wanted Wet n Wild because I know it's cruelty free, it's affordable, and I really like their products I've used. I got a lip product from them as well, which I didn't bring over here to show you, but I like Wet n Wild's products, so I thought I'd try one of their brow things. I think I just got this not quite on a whim. I didn't take any brow stuff with me, and I haven't been to Sephora yet. Um, and I think it was, we were eating at Miller's Ale House on International Drive, and there's a CVS, literally, so there's a CVS or a Walgreens, literally across the road. So me and my cousin were like, right, quick, go into there, because I needed some uh, cotton wool pads or something like that. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get this as well. This is a good purchase. The last America Cosmetics I'm gonna show you, this one is an open ear. And Sephora, like, kind of like the Boots Advantage card or the Super Drug Beauty card, they have the VIB, uh, Beauty Club, or whatever it's called, um, and I joined it last time because, you know, they sh they ship to the UK now, so I was like, yep, yeah, I'm definitely going to order from Sephora in the future, so I will buy myself, I'll get myself a thing. Um, and when I got there, I had enough points or whatever, I got one of the freebies, and I got a freebie of, test of this, the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. Now I know Sephora, I don't think Sephora is cruelty free, which makes me feel so bad, but this is one of the best mascaras I have ever used in my life. I'm not wearing it now, I think I'm wearing one by collection now, but this is just incredible. So um, we went to the mall, I think the mall at Millennia, like the Florida mall, the massive one, um, and we went there and then we went back because we had a spare day and my cousin who came with us, it was her first time in America, she was like, I just want another shopping day. Um, so we went back and I was like, I need to get this mascara. Those are all the makeup things that I've been, I've bought recently that I thought were worthy of sharing with you. Uh, let's move on to these because you can probably see them. I kind of went into Build-A-Bear. I am nearly 30. I am 27, by the way. Um, and they're doing Pokemon and they were two for £35. And my boyfriend had just broken up with me. So I thought, you know what? I want some Pokemon to make me feel better. So I got Squirtle, who is my favourite Pokemon. And Eevee, who turns into my other favourite Pokemon. So I got Squirtle and Eevee and I kind of collect Builder Bears. I have a Builder Bear club card. I have a shelf full of Star Wars and Avengers and Batman Builder Bear. So I love it. Just unceremoniously put on this before. This isn't actually new. This I got in, if you remember, I talked, um, mentioned my Killstar dress in one of my other videos. Um, I bought this, I think it was January or something like that. Um, but when I got it, it was actually broken. I think I mentioned this in another video as well. Um, and it's taken me this long to get it fixed. I took it into a shoe, shoe repair place. So I thought, oh, they work with leather. And this is fake leather, so they might not do it. And lo and behold, they stitched it up for me. So it's this amazing tombstone bag. I can't remember what it's called, but it is by Killstar. You can see it's got this beautiful embossed like detailing and it's got a little zip on the back and it has a bigger compartment, which is kind of big, but because I have a big wallet and a big phone, I can't really fit much in there. So it's kind of like a bag if I'm not really, don't really need much room. Um, and it's got a chain and it is kind of long. It, I can put it over because I like crossbody bags. I can put it over, it's fine. So yeah, there's that. It isn't technically new, but it's kind of new to being used. By the way, sorry if you can hear my fan, because it's hot. My mum has got all the heating on, even though it's not October yet, and I am warm. Sorry if I've like really changed position or anything, but I had to just go and delete some stuff off my camera. But I'm just gonna move on to um, some cool little things. I have recently, well recently, this year, really started eBaying and I got these really cool kind of gothy sunglasses 
um, which I took with me to America and I wore when we like went to Harry Potter land. I took Bloodstock and I just think they're so cool. They're like a bit steampunky, vampire-y. I just thought they were really cool. Um, and the other sunglasses are Steve Madden's, uh, my ex-boyfriend. He lived kind of close to TK Maxx and so I bought these just when I went on holiday. I buy Steve Madden, they've got like blue mirror glasses, they've got this pinky cat eye and metal and I just think it's so cool and some of it are like star. Do my other recent Halloween haul. I've been a little bit disappointed with Halloween stuff. I mean, Poundland has got some good stuff. Let me just show you this. Is a little sort of bat chandelier thing. Hopefully it's not gonna like set on fire or something. But I also went to TK Maxx. Okay. First thing I got in TK Maxx is this, which is this adorable Frankenstein bust. It's made of wood. It's wooden, but it's made to look like it could be stone. Um, I think hopefully it's gonna fit on top of my CD rack. So that's Frankenstein. What else have I got in here? Um, I got some little glitter bird cigarette glitter bird silhouette to hang up. I got this gorgeous little sign. It says finest quality bat wings for sale to license which is only. It's just so cute. Um, I got this from Poundland. I really don't need another like cup like this glass straw glass thing. But it's so cute. It's got this black and white striped straw and it says I don't know read that but it says uh twill and trouble while and bubble which is like only the finest and the other thing i've got in here because you know i don't live by myself but i like buying great stuff is a two pack of halloweeny uh kitchen towels which i would just use as just normal kitchen towels for every day and on one side they've got like potions and cocktails on the other side it says drink up witches so i like that as you can see i'm wearing like all cool up top but i'm just wearing star wars pajama bombs youtube life talk clothes now because i've got some new clothes recently anyway the other one of the other things i got in universal studios was this awesome bride of frankenstein uh the original monsters bride t-shirt which is one of the official ones because you know universal did the monsters first and i love i love universal monster movies and the bride of frankenstein in my opinion is one of the greatest films ever made it's just a cinematic masterpiece it's so good and so i got myself bride of frankenstein t-shirt um, then from target i did get another vest that says like slay all day or something on it but i can't find it i got this one as well they're like two or something um and it says moon child and it's dark gray and it has like this it's Illuminati all seeing eye there. It's vaguely mystical print on it. This jumper, which I bought before the summer, um, so I didn't really get much use out of it. What I wore now is this awesome skeleton print jumper from Gothic Arna at EMP, which is like their own in brand, um, in house brand, goth brand. Um, and I really like it, and it's not too thick, so I'd be able to wear it over the top of something, but I'll be able to wear it underneath as well. Um, and it's really comfy, it's a really nice quality fabric and the print, well it's like, I guess, knitted in so it's not like a print um, and it's just on one side, the back is just plain but I just really like it, um, it's gothy, it's a bit Halloween-y um, I got an XL, um, women's size, uh, which, you know, is actually kind of roomy but so it will go with me Oh, close on the floor. This is one of the purchases I made in America, and it's this dress from Old Navy, um, and it's cold shoulder. I'm a recent convert to cold shoulder thing. I hated it to start off with, but now I'm loving it, like, really loving it. Um, so it's got cold shoulder, long, sort of three quarter length sleeves. It's got this kind of like frill detail, like ruffle detail around the cold shoulder of it, which looks much nicer in person than you would imagine it does. I don't remember the price of any of these things, by the way, so unless it has the price tag still on it, which most of this stuff has been worn, so it doesn't, I can't help you there. This skirt was a bargain at Primark in their like clearance bit. You can see it's like, I'm gonna say just over knee length, um, but it's like this tutu-y sort of layered 
dealio um, and I love it. I'm personally of the opinion that I could wear this, especially in the autumn where I could wear jackets, like military jackets and velvet things and my leather jacket again. I think it would look really nice in the daytime. But I think I could really rock it up and wear it at the night time, like with a t-shirt tucked in and heels. I think it would look really nice. I think it would look nice in the daytime as well. So. And my like Sephora America Beauty purchases. I got Kat Von D. I got Saint. I really could not decide between Saint and Sinner. Like I was there for about 15 minutes. It just, I, I think I even did Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. And I got this, my first trip to Sephora. And then when I went back again, I got a little treble size for Sinner. So I just could not, could not decide between them. I'm probably gonna ask for Sinner for Christmas. I just love the, the detail on the bottle as well. Cause this one is white and Sinner is black. But like it has skulls. Is this amazing dress by Necessary Evil. It's like velvet and it has long, long, long pointy sleeves and it just has the nicest shaped skirt. Um, and oh, I feel like a sex goddess when I put this on. But yeah, I love this dress. Also from Necessary Evil, I have this kimono which is mesh so it's like see through and again it has the like medieval sleeves and it's just it comes with a pin with a studded belt but like where I would put it I, it's one of my widest points so I, the belt's in my drawer I will wear it soon um, but I think it looks nice without it the belt would obviously cinch it in but I think it looks really nice and it's really easy to throw on over all sorts of things um, it's, it's actually become one of my it was one of my favorite sort of layering pieces for summer if I just wanted something over the top like to cover my arms or an evening or on like a cooler day and it was perfect for America like absolutely perfect for America so this is really nice for another America clothing purchase this baby is from Torrid um, and again it's cold shoulder and it has this sort of like 90s fake like choker neckline so it goes across goes across there and then it has a really quite deep V and again it's got some more three quarter length sleeves and the open shoulder it's just black I'm I'm not the kind of person that really thinks I look good in much like I have self esteem issues all that kind of thing but I actually think I look killer in this I'm going to cut this now because this is getting really long um, and the rest of the stuff is all primer. I'm going to do a separate primer haul. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.